Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we're talking about acids and bases, which are fascinating. If you're looking for the Arrhenius and Bronsted Lowry definitions of an acid and base, I discuss that in a separate video linked here and in the description. Acids and bases are both corrosive substances that react with and damage or destroy substances they come in contact with. Acids can burn the skin and cause pain, usually have a sour taste, can corrode metals, and turn blue litmus paper red. Bases, on the other hand, have a bitter taste, feel slippery or soapy to the touch, and turn red litmus paper blue. The strength of an acid or base is measured using the pH scale. This scale ranges from 0 to 14. The lower the number, the more acidic the substance, and the higher the number, the less acidic or more basic and alkaline the substance. 7 is considered neutral, and pure H2O has a pH of 7. It is possible to have a pH greater than 14 or less than 0, but you won't come across those very often. An example of a weak acid is carbonic acid, which has a pH of 4 and can be found in carbonated beverages. Hydrochloric acid has a pH of 1 and is a strong acid, and this is the acid in your stomach that helps with digestion. An example of a weak base is calcium carbonate, which has a pH of 10 and can be found in antacids. Sodium hydroxide has a pH of 14 and is a strong base and can be found in some drain cleaners. Strong acids and strong bases can be confined, combined to form a salt and H2O. For example, combining hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide forms sodium chloride and H2O. Most people know that strong acids can be dangerous, but strong bases can also cause harm as well. Be sure to take the necessary safety steps when handling such chemicals to avoid any injury. If you learned something in this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. I, if you have any more questions or comments, I'd love to hear them, so throw them below, and don't forget to watch my other videos. I'll catch you next time.